So this is question eight on that uh, January 2012 paper. And we've got this really unstructured question. We're told that the line has a gradient of minus two and passes through the point three, five. So, so Tom's first suggestion, first instinct, is to find the equation of that line. And that seems like a, a decent instinct, so let's go with that. We're going to say we've got y minus y1 is m x minus x1. So the equation of the line y minus 5 is minus 2x plus 6. So y equals minus 2x plus 11. And that is a start point. That is the equation of the line L. B is the point on the line L such that the distance <coughs> AB is 6 root 5. Find the coordinates of each of the possible points of B. So, so B has, has these coordinates. Um, what can we say? Should we just call them x1 and y1? So they're, they're the coordinates of B. But B is on the line. So if B is on the line, that means B fits this equation, doesn't it? So as B is on the line L, then we could say that Y1 is minus 2 X1 plus 11. So actually, the coordinates of B are now looking like X1 and minus 2 X1 plus 11. That is the point B. The, the final thing that we've got is that the distance of AB is 6 root 5. Okay, so we can use our formula for finding the length of a line with the points, well A, remember, A was the point 3, 5, B is the point x1 minus 2x1 plus 11. Let's throw all of that into our equation, into our formula for the length of a line and see what happens. We get, um, we get 6 root 5 is equal to the square root of x1 minus 3 squared plus minus 2x1 plus 11 minus 5. That's all inside the square root sign. Uh, I don't particularly like that square root sign, so what I think I'll do is we'll think of both sides as being under the square root. If we take the 6 inside the square root, that would be a 36, wouldn't it? So there we go. If we square 6 root 5, we end up doing 36 times 5, which is 180. That is x1 minus 3 squared plus, now what we've got here, we've got 11 to go find is 6 minus 2x1 squared. Let's multiply out these brackets and see what happens. x1 squared minus 6, x1 plus 9. Plus 36. Now this would, if we multiply this out, just being careful with this, that would be a minus 12x1 and then another minus 12x1, so minus 24x1 and then a plus 4x1 <coughs> squared. Yikes. So collecting like terms together, we have 0 is 5x1 <coughs> squared <coughs> minus 30x1. And what have we got there? We've got, um, well this is 45 isn't it? But we're taking away 180. So that leaves us with 135, minus 135 there. It's quite nice to see we've got a common factor of 5 in there that we can divide through. Um, 5 into 135 go to 7. Which 
hopefully we'll factorise. Uh, 27 is 9, 3, doesn't it? So it does. We've got... We've got, at the end of all that, our x values being 9 or minus 3. And somewhere we've got the y value of the coordinates of b as well. It was minus 2x1 plus 11. So, <coughs> minus 2 So that's negative 18 plus our 11 is, uh, is that minus 7? And uh, there we've got 6 plus 11 would be 17. We get 9 minus 7 and minus 3. 17, I think. Have I done that right at the end? I think so. So we get that. 5 marks, 6 marks. That was an awful lot of work, wasn't it? It wasn't that bad to go. Okay. How long are we on that video? How long does it come for? 6.30. 6, 6 and hours. Okay. Um, can, I, can I think of this again then? We'll, we'll keep filming this. But this isn't the way that I approached this when I first saw this question. This is, this is the, the kind of the straight... No, no fancy stuff going on, just doing exactly step by step all of the, the tough algebra that you need to do to solve this question. But I want to show you an alternative route through this, which is, I think I'll get the first one again if I do that. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's, let's go straight to a diagram of this and think what a diagram might tell us better. If we go straight to a diagram, what we've got to go on is that we have a line of gradient minus 2. Now, gradient minus 2 lines look something like that, don't they? And we have a point, A, with coordinates, it's, it's on the line, amazingly, with coordinates 3, 5. Okay. Now what we know about gradient is that gradient tells you how far you go up or down for every one unit across. So on this line here, there is a little triangle there that for every one unit across goes two units down because the gradient is minus two. So what's that distance there? For every one unit across, I'm going two units down and along the line, I'm going a distance of what do you think? Three. It wouldn't be 6 root 5, because that's 1 and that's 2. Three. But if by Pythagoras theorem, it would be the yeah. square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, wouldn't it? Which is 5. That distance there is root 5. That bit. So for every 1 unit across I go, I go root 5 along the line. I want to go 6 root 5s along the line. So instead of going one unit across, I need to go six units across. So to get to the point down here, I need to go six units across that way. Three plus six would be the x value. And as I go six units across, I'm going to go 12 units down, aren't I? Because every one unit across, I'm going two down. So if I'm going 6 across, I'm going 12 down, I'm going 5, take away 12. So that point is the point 9 minus 7. In the other direction, if I go one unit that way, I go two units that way. That also, that gives me the same gradient of minus 2. Every time I do that, I go a distance of root 5. I want to go 6 root 5, so I need to go 6 in that direction. So this point up here is going to be coordinates 3. Um, I'm going to go 6 in that way, so it's 3 minus 6. And in my other direction, I've got to go up 12. 
So I'm going to do 5 plus 12. So that gives me the point minus 3, 17. How much work was that? And how much work was that? And they were both worth six marks at the end of it. There you go. These are the two points that we were looking for. And the diagram <coughs> did all of it for you by just interpreting what gradient means. And how annoying is that? Would you get all the method marks? You, you'd, get, you'd get full marks for that. There's, there's no reason why they could be anything less than full marks for that.